Good evening once again. Welcome to Devotional. I invite you to please pray with me. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord God, what a blessed evening you have for us tonight as we're about to meditate upon your word. May you bless us with wisdom and understanding through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. The title of tonight's devotional, The Sanctity of the Ark, 1 Samuel 5, 11 to 12. So they called together all the rulers of the Philistines and said, Send the ark of the God of Israel away. Let it go back to its own people, or it will kill us and our people. For death had filled the city with panic. God's hand was very heavy on it. Those who did not die were afflicted with tumors, and the outcry of the city went up to heaven. The Ark of the Covenant was sacred, not because His commandments were there, but because God's holy presence was there. However, God's presence departed Israel which led to their defeat. Their enemies, the Philistines, took the Ark of God and placed it in Dagon's temple beside Dagon. The next day, the people of Ashdod rose early and saw that Dagon had fallen on his face on the floor or the ground before the Ark of the Lord. They took Dagon and put him back in his place. The same thing happened again the following morning. Dagon was fallen with his face on the ground before the Ark of the Lord. His head and hands had been broken off and were lying on the threshold. Only his body remained. God is more powerful and mightier than any other false gods, including the god Dagon that they serve. The presence of the Ark in their midst became a curse to them. The people of Ashdod became sick and in those of its vicinity developed tumors. They realized that they were cursed and punished, so they decided to move the ark to Gath. However, the same things occurred there also. The Lord's hand was against that city, throwing it into a great panic. The people in the city of Gath, both young and old, got sick, had an outbreak of tumors. They sent the ark of God to Ekron. As the Ark of God was entering Ekron, the people of Ekron panicked and cried out. They called together all the rulers of the Philistines and they decided that they need to return the Ark to Israel. The city was heavily afflicted by these tumors and other diseases. The city was heavily afflicted by God. Verse 12 says, Those who did not die were afflicted with tumors and the outcry of the city went up to heaven. God's hand was hard on the Philistines who were serving other gods and goddesses and desecrated the ark. God did not want his divine symbol to be in the midst of them. Very obvious, isn't it? Therefore, his ark became a curse to them. Quite a fascinating story. In Ezekiel 22:26 says, God says, Her priests have been acting violently against my law. They have made my holy things unclean. They have made no division between what is holy and what is common. And they have not made very clear that the unclean is different from the clean. And their eyes have been shut to my Sabbaths and I am not honored among them. God is clearly making a distinction between holy things and unholy things. If we do not pay attention to this matter, a curse may come to us like what happened among the Philistines. Let us always pay attention to what God instructed to us. Let us pray. Father in heaven, our God, what a blessed um, lesson we can learn, O God. Holiness is different from unholy things. And you take it seriously, Lord. Help us to take the matter seriously as well, Lord God. Help us to give you the utmost respect, honor, and glory that you alone deserve. Father, teach us. Many times, O oh God, we are mixing things up, holy things and unholy things, and consecrated to unconsecrated things. O oh Lord God, have mercy. Forgive us by any means, O oh God, that we committed sin against Thee, and help us to be strong, um, to be passionate of what You called us for. Thank you so much, O Lord God, for hearing and answering us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much once again. May the Lord God bless you. I hope to see you again tomorrow night. Bye-bye.